Podcast. Yo, what's up, Mr. DJ Rose? What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what it is. Special Ooh. guest, 706 Stunner. OJ Juice Man. I'm in this bitch. Let's go. So, what's up, you fellas? You know what I'm saying? What we sipping on today? Well, you know, we got that pure white Hennessy man in the States finally. Yes, sir. And that, that Remy Martin. You know what I'm saying? 1738. That XO. 1738. Man, how everyone doing, though? All is well on my end, man. All is well. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Another day. Well, that all happened in the week, y'all. So, this week in sports. The World Series started yesterday, and the Rangers took game one. And I want to say it was, what, the 14th, 13th inning on a walk-off home run? This looked like it's going to be a great series. Rose, man, you got any predictions, even though um, the Rangers up 1-0 already on the Diamondbacks? No, not really. I'm probably thinking the, I think the Diamondbacks probably going to win it. But I don't care who wins it. The Braves ain't in it, so what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm going to go Diamondbacks, man. I, you know, I like um, the underdog. I was talking to my brother Tremaine and you know, T-Man, and we was talking about the World Series, and I was telling him it's crazy how every year in baseball you get a team like the Diamondbacks that don't win that many games, but then the playoffs come, they just turn up. You don't see that in the NBA. And every once in a while you do see it in the NFL, but you don't really see, like, a wild card team that wasn't good all year just make a run to the Super Bowl. So I'm going for the other dog, but the Rangers are a great team, and for those who love baseball, this should be a great series if, Game one is an indication of the next six games. Any thoughts, Juice Man? Okay, uh, Arizona Diamondbacks? Yeah, Arizona. All right, and we got Houston Texans? No. Where are you from? The Texan Rangers. Texas Texas Rangers? Yeah. Texas Rangers? What are they out of? What, what's, what city? Austin? I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't want this one to tell you where they from. They can be Dallas, Austin, Houston. Shit, they just in Texas. I know that. Yeah. That's why I was thinking. I thought it was the Houston Rangers. No, it's Houston Astros. Houston Astros. Okay. So I, I don't know about this team. I don't know too much. I know. Are they um, a new franchise team? The one of the newest nah. ones. That's who. Um, Remember that when A. Rod got that first, he got that he got the biggest contract ever. That's um, the Rangers gave him that contract when he left um, Seattle. Okay, I thought New York gave it to him. All that right. was after the Rangers. Okay, uh, you know, like I said, I, I haven't watched baseball all season. Uh, I just it's it's different. The baseball is different from when I was growing up. It's, I guess it's still an American pastime sport. That's why I really don't mess with it too much. I, I really grew away from it. So I don't know too much about the baseball. So the underdogs, you know, I, yeah, I always like the underdogs. So the Diamondbacks are the underdogs this year? Yeah, they are. So I, I'm going to tell you about what I don't know too much about and what has changed. Historically, if you spend a top 10 pick, Rose and Juice Man, on a running back, do you know what happens? You run that motherfucker into the ground. Mm-hmm. Typically, you give them 300 carries and maybe 40, 50 catches out the backfield. They touch the ball between 300 and 400 times that season. Mm-hmm. So the Falcons have already been trying to limit B. John Robinson's carries and usage all season. Mm-hmm. But this last weekend, and if I sound pissed off, you should too, Juice Man, because you got <laughs> it, we both got him in fantasy. If I sound a little pissed off, it's because... This motherfucker got one carry <laughs> in the entire game. 
And it happened on the last drive for like six, seven yards, giving me zero fucking points. I think it was like point two. In the league you in, yeah, it gave me point two. In the league I'm in, it gave me zero. I ain't get shit from the nigga. Uh, and and, the, and Arthur Smith gonna say he he had headaches and his tummy was hurting. And then the NFL came out Monday or Tuesday saying we're gonna investigate this because for those who don't know, you are supposed to list when a player is not feeling well, they injured. Or maybe they're not going to play or be limited for whatever reason because you have these investors with the gamblers who basically need that information. In fact, it was so bad, DraftKings actually refunded anybody who used B. John Robinson. And they don't normally do that. That's how bad the situation was. Mm-hmm. Juice, man. A- any thoughts on the situation? Exactly what you said. It's, it's uh, what we call it. Vegas got involved. Mob, we, we don't play that shit. And I feel them. Um, yeah, it was kind of crazy, you know, because he usually does better than what he's projected. So for him to actually at nine perform, I just, it, 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 and I see where they're going with the investigation, but I live in Georgia, so I'm not going to bring up really any incriminating uh, opinions on this situation. Oh, I, I, I'm going to keep it real, bro. I, I, told, yo, I told MGH, man, I think that nigga might have been hungover, man. And, and, they, and they was trying they, they was trying not to even say nothing. Or two, I feel like Arthur Smith do not like that nigga and basically was trying to show that nigga who's boss. Or three, they were just trying to lose that game. But n- nothing else. Those are the only three things but they I can won, think though. of. They won, though. They, that's what I'm saying. They won. So, like, there ain't nothing he can say. But those are the only three things that make sense to me, bro, because there's no reason you don't use your best player at all in the entire game. I can tell you what the man He was doing. sick, man. He might have been sick off that sick off that vodka, but ain't yeah, no probably know that. Yeah, that's that's possible. You know what I'm saying? But you know what else is sick? Did y'all hear about Dwight Howard? What's going on with him? What's going on with him? Ortiz, let the people know what's going on with um your boy, so, Superman. So for those who have been not paying attention to the um news this week, the white basically was charged with sexual assault from a man. Went to court. The court transcript read. That basically it was consensual. He basically said, Yes, I knew the dude. We was texting back and forth. I kissed him. It was consensual. Apparently, he knew the dude. He, he told how the dude was at his crib or he was at the dude's crib, but they was in the house. When they was in the bedroom, the dude said, I got a surprise for you. Kid. Now, for those who might hear that name and think, Okay, cool. They, they brought a bitch in the situation. No. Kitty's a grown ass man. The dude came in there, apparently started sucking off Dwight, and Dwight said he felt very uncomfortable or whatever. Yeah, man. So this, he so basically, he basically got out of being gay. So, so, Kitty's a transsexual? Nah, Kitty's a man. Straight up man look like a dude. Kitty's just a man. Yeah, probably just a dude. But yeah. But yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he from the A, so you know what I'm saying? I, but I ain't, I ain't know he was a bottom though. I guess he like balls and all. You know what I'm saying? He, he do play basketball, so I, I can. I guess I can dig it. And he went. He, where he went? Didn't he go play the Taiwan? He did play the Taiwan, man. Yeah, remember what happened in um and um <laughs> and, and, and hangover. Yeah, this is called Bangkok for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he, he, I thought he, he was he, talking about uh he was supposed to be going to Celtic. Mm-hmm, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I mean, I'm surprised the shit was as big as it was because, man, we've been saying Dwight was gay since 2012, man. Like, like n- <laughs> niggas have been talking about this nigga gay. There has been rumors about him talking with transgenders in the city. The only thing I want to say is Dwight. It's 2023, man. Come out the closet, man. Like you going on multiple radio stations and podcasts talking about what happened in my bedroom is my business. The people in my bedroom know what's going. On. That's 2023. Say it to his face. If you want to be a 6'10 or 6'11, I ain't broad show fucker, that likes getting fucked in ass and fucking niggas in ass, cool, bro. Yeah, we don't care. I don't care, nigga. Don't bother me. But just say you gay, bro. Just come out the closet, man. Yeah, man. Represent for your city, man. Yeah, so that's what it is. Talking about the NBA, how about these these sorry Hawks and, and the rest of the league, man? What? What's, what's we're teasing, man? What's, what's your take on what's going on to start of the NBA season so far? Well, man, I mean, we talked about a little, we touched on a little bit last episode. Jokic is still the best player in the game. 
Facts. I saw Open the Night, and AD couldn't do nothing with him, and Yoka shut him down the second half. Um, it's going to be rough for the Lakers if LeBron cannot play more than this 30-minute restriction because they won the other night, but he had to play, what, 35 minutes, I think, which they said they don't like that. And, and, and Bill and Booker were out. Yeah, and Bill and Booker was out, so that's that's not going to pose well for the Lakers all season long. Um, over the East Coast, I said Dame and Giannis being together was going to be a problem, and in that fourth quarter, Dame was – having one-on-ones and open looks that he ain't never had seen in his career before. So I, I'm just looking forward to watching them two just continue to play because that watch that first game, they just fit like a glove, man. They just they were just playing very smooth, and it didn't feel forced. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how they just – they maybe it was together maybe a month, and it seemed like they got more chemistry than the seven years that Jalen Brown and, and Jason Tatum got. Yeah, some, got. somebody was. I think Jay Williams was talking about that man, and I mean, I think historically, man, I'm a, that's all I'm gonna say about that. We've seen when you have a person on the perimeter, they always pair better with someone down low. Like that's that's just that's to me that's the formula. If you can get a great big and a great guard, that's yeah. always going to basically to me. That's how you, to a championship like LeBron. That's, and that's how you play it. basketball, though, the inside I mean, out. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. and man, I, I'm looking forward to this season, man. I saw some things I like. So, you got any thoughts, Rose? Um, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they they are still pretty young and they look pretty good. Um, I'm gonna see how they go finish this season. I doubt they do make any noise in the playoffs, but I just want to see how they finish the season. Um. Um, I want to see Victor and Chet is going to finish the season healthy the whole time. Zion, is he going to finish? they do because all three of them look good. Is Zion going to finish the season or play at least 60, 70 games? And and, and, and B, what's MB going to do with with um, and James Harden? Like, man, I, they just need to go ahead and send James Harden somewhere, man, where he, Tell ask him where he want to be. Tell him you oh, got man. you got you got to pay me some of your salary, and I will see you where you want to go. Yeah, I don't know what they go to, man. But but I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired, I'm tired of hearing about James Harden. Like James Harden might be the whole of the week, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's in contention. He's in contention for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. You how many teams you don't ask to be traded from? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, make up your mind and, and stop wearing that fat suit. I ain't pull it out yet, but I expect it coming, man. Hey, man, so are there any games tomorrow that you're looking forward to, Rose, in the NFL? Want to see if the Falcons are going to lose again. I want to see if Jared Hamish going to have a good game. They, they came out and said that they're not going to trade him. That's a stupid decision. So... Go see what they go do. Um, uh, the Thursday night game was pretty straight. The Bucks and the Bills, that was okay. I want to see um, because I know Danny Dimes is not back yet. So the New York against New York, see how that game go turn out. Uh, all the Patriots go double team Tyree, but I think the game that probably the best game that I think I it's Rams Cowboys. Bengals 49ers, I I can see that being a good game too, but the um the Rams and the Cowboys, I just Michael Parsons on the one side, then they got Eric Donald on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Two two of the best defensive players in the game. They play different positions, but two of the best at their position. Yeah, who's gonna control the game better? Yeah, so that's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm looking forward to seeing and seeing my and seeing if I'm gonna win in the fantasy league again. Yeah, man. First game, man. I'm only looking at this game because the report I read earlier today, Eagles, Commanders, only because if the Commanders win, they're going to try to finish the season and make the playoffs. If they lose, which I think they will, they got a lot of players like Chase Young, Montez Sweat, and some other players like Tech, Scary Terry McClellan that they've already said they're going to put on trade for. So if they, if they lose like I think they will, I'm going to be interested next week to see which one of those players go somewhere they can actually help a team win because each of those players are actually pretty decent players. Even Jonathan Allen, the defensive tackle. So that'll be interesting to see 
you know, where they go and what teams they help contribute to win. We'll bring them to Atlanta. <laughs> and then you got Bengals 49ers. Man, I, I can't wait for that game, man. Like, you got one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Joe Burrow. One of the best receivers, Jamal Chase, going against what I think has been the best defense the last three years in the league. Cowboys? Um, not 49 Okay. So I just want to see that matchup. I want to see what happens. Can they protect Joe Burrow? And is he finally healthy? And in the last game, you touched on it, is the Dolphins and Patriots because if you look at the numbers, the Patriots did the best job early in the year shutting that Tyreek Hill. So can they do it again? That They don't have, I forgot, the corner named Gonzalez, the, the rookie corner they got. He, he played that game. He's injured now. But, hey, man, they had a great game plan. And I just want to see if they're going to put it in again because you and me talk about every week, Rose. How is it that nobody thinks we need to take this nigga out of the game? So, those are my thoughts, man. You, you got any games that you might be looking forward to, um, Juice Man? Uh, you know, I'm just all around I'm athlete, so I like watching sports all, all the time. So, it really don't matter what sport it is. So, uh, when it comes to uh, the football, you know, the home team, I, I want to see football on Atlanta. I want to see what they do. I hope they win. I want them to stay number one in their division. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I, I, I said it, and I'm sticking to it. I believe they're going to be number one in their division this year. So we go to the playoffs. When it goes to the playoffs. Yeah, it's possible. It's yeah. very possible. Then also, my second prediction is I believe Colorado is going to, boom, have a bowl game. So... I would like to see that. So if I can have both that, I'm happy, man. It's just, just watch both of them games. I'm happy. It, it, and then, you know, it is what it is. So, okay, this one, this is what I want to ask y'all. Because I watch sports, but I don't really know too much about it. So, okay, so if Atlanta, they number one in any division, they skip the first game? No, only one person, only one team gets a bye. Yeah. And that's the only a number, number one, one seed. seed. So a number one seed. So it doesn't matter if you're the number one seed in the division. You have to be the number one seed. Overall, they'll get a home game. That's the only thing they'll be guaranteed. No matter how bad their record is, if they win the division, they'll get a home game. So it'll be a home game, one one off to whoever comes through. Yep. So they might be able to get to round two, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not guaranteeing this year. I'm just saying I believe they're going to get there, but I don't know about it's, that. It's a lot of things possible, man. But you was talking about the division, man. We're going to move on to TNT, man. Tears and no tears. We got dynamite. Boom. So speaking of divisions, but we're going to talk about a different division, the police division. Hello. So in Mississippi, a woman reported that her son was missing. And I want to say after months of, you know, basically not knowing where her son was at, she found out that her son had been murdered by a police officer um, vehicle, got hit, and instead of it being reported to her, they buried her son in an unmarked grave. Yeah, man, you, you can't make this shit up, bro. How they find out? Yeah, so basically, he, he got hit by he got hit by a car. They buried him in the John Doe Cemetery. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And but he had like medication in his pocket, so they kind of figured they kind of knew who he was, but they didn't they didn't say anything. And like the mom. It's already suing the city because the police killed her brother. And, and so now they're trying to figure out is that they is that retaliation or, or or whatnot. But but it was like months and they when she reported him that he was missing, they kind of figured out that who, who he knew who he was, but they didn't say anything or whatnot. But it's it's kind of fishy. I don't know all the ins and outs of it yet. Nobody does yet, but it just, it smelled kind of fishy, man. I mean, how did you know it was the police that killed him? The, oh, the, he got hit by the, um, he was on the road when the police car hit him. How did they know that? Because the police stopped. <laughs> and, and So they reported it, so he was never buried? Yeah, he got buried, but they said the reason why he got buried and no, and they didn't notify the next kid because they they figured he was a they they considered him a John Doe because he didn't have no ID. They didn't they didn't oh. do it. They didn't do I guess they didn't do dental records or or maybe I'm pretty sure he had some dental so, records. So 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 the cop hit him, reported. Oh, I hit somebody. Yeah. Oh, we don't know who he is. Yeah. Buries him. 
Yeah, eventually he gets buried in um the John Doe cemeteries. Yeah. It's fucked up, but that's just too. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. But the mom had um, notified the police, like, my son's missing. And they're like, we, okay. and they. It's fucked up, but yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, so. Man, I'm going to keep it real, man. They cover that shit up, bro. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it real. When it comes to shit like that, bro, you you can backtrack paperwork. A lot of people don't even notice when it comes to law enforcement. And just even just positions of, like, corporations and stuff in business. I could actually, if I got a company, Juice Man. Mm-hmm. I can actually write some paperwork up mm-hmm. and basically have you sign it mm-hmm. today, mm-hmm. but I lost control of my company yesterday, but mm-hmm. I can backdate it to last Thursday. Mm-hmm. So you could do it. Like, they can make it seem like, oh, yeah, we notified the proper people and he didn't have this and have that. But, mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, Rose, OJ said, I mean, Rose said, man, they need to have medication. Mm-hmm. You got dental records. You got all these forms of identification in 2023. Now, this so they 19... buried them with the dental. So they buried them with the, 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 the medicine. The coroner, the coroner said, you know, he sent it to the coroner. The coroner said, oh, he has his medication in his in his pocket. So most likely, this is probably who this is. Uh-huh. And notified the the detectives or the law enforcement right. and the law enforcement. We all know that the cops are a big gang. Yeah. So you know how the gang works. But yeah, man. Like, so of course it was retaliation, but it, I, I got tears for that mom, man, because that's crazy that the police officer did some shit like that, man. And that's I, I was having this with MGH, man. I don't care. This twenty twenty three, man. You got places like Mississippi. I'm just gonna be real, bro. I don't understand why black people even voluntarily go to those places, man. Mm-hmm. Unless you were born in Mississippi mm-hmm. and you have to live in Mississippi, mm-hmm. I don't know why you go to Ole Miss. I don't know why you go to Mississippi State. Right. I don't know why you would travel there because right. it is some places in America in 2023. Mm-hmm. Man, it's still racist as fuck. Yes, it is. So mm-hmm. I would never go to Mississippi, especially if I'm going to one of them backwoods places where the, you got a motherfucker sitting at a gas station or convenience store spitting chewing tobacco in a can. Mm-hmm. So hell no, nah, man. I got tears for that whole situation, though, man. Yeah, I got but, tears too, but, man. But I got tears for laughing for the next situation, though. And I ain't got no kids, so I can only imagine for the people at the table who might have kids and daughters. So, there was this woman, well, she was a teenager or 20 year old, I don't know what I'm She was an adult. Okay, so there was this woman, she was an adult. And I guess she was having a family outing, a dinner or whatever. She got drunk, went to the bathroom. I don't know if it's specified, I'm assuming it was the male's bathroom she went to. No, nah, it no, nah, this wasn't here. This wasn't like in the uh, United States. So this was this was this was somewhere in another country. So Oh, where they have a co ed bathroom? No, it wasn't in the bathroom. It was like it's like a sex place. Like where you go and you can have different mirror you know you okay. go to a place and you um it has two way mirror. So like if you you and you go it's a, it has a glow hole. So it's a swing a swing a swing club. Type. Yeah. Okay, so my bad read it bro, I read it like she was at dinner. Went to the bathroom and then there was a glory hole in the bathroom. It was a swing club. So, so was, yeah, swing club. because so, that because because it was because when she um because you can hit you can hit the switch and see you, you don't have to hit the switch but the person can hit the switch and see yeah, on I the other side. That part. Like I said, I just thought it was a glory hole. I didn't think it was no. Sex How thing. would that be in the bathroom though? Because <laughs> you remember like the eighties they had all these glory holes and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like it was those was regular bathrooms. No, but not now when you hit a switch. Though. Now when you hit a switch, it has a two way mirror. Not in I'm, the bathrooms. I mean, depending on the bathroom, yeah, you can say so that. Another, so, so it was another but, country. Yeah. So it was another country, though. Mm. So she went in the bathroom. She's drunk. They well, swing she went in the around. swinger section. She's mm. drunk. And she's sitting down. It's a dick looking at her. She starts sucking it. Mm. She gets curious. She wants to know who's on the other end of this dick she's sucking. Mm. She hits the little switch, like Rose was saying. Mm. And she looks up and it's up off. Mm. Hey man, I said this a couple episodes ago. They don't grade fathers, but if your daughter is sucking a dick out the glory hole, you fucked up. Mm-hmm. And apparently, it brought the family a lot of turmoil, and the family's fucked up now, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, juice man, man. What tears or no tears? Say what? This a tears no tears? Yeah. I don't know. TNT. They fucked up on that shit. Like, like my personal opinion. Yeah, I ain't got no tears for that shit. Yeah, I, I got tears. That's that like I got tears because it's 
it's funny, but it's messed up and it's sick too. Like it's not I funny. Can, it, it, it is funny because like why are you going is 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 did, I know that's what you was into, but when you go suck random put random things in your mouth, crazy stuff like that can happen. Like, yeah. like <laughs> it, it's funny because let's just be real. This if that was a scene in the movie, you would laugh. Yeah, so nah. Yeah, man. Um it's just, Man, it's just, okay, okay, okay. I got tears. Okay, because okay, you know we in Georgia. All right. Right, right. So we do have clubs like that in Georgia and okay. Florida. We do have clubs like that. They swing club. So you go to swing club, boom, boom, boom. You pay your dough. You go in, and you fucking whoever. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you think you got to think like this. What happens if one night, you didn't put your daughter on, but she's just, just, just happened. One night, she's in the damn... She's in the orgy. You know what I'm saying? She's in the orgy bed. Or she's in the orgy room or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just, oh, we got this badass chick. She's sucking everybody off. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like, boom, oh, yeah. Yeah, since I'm here, yeah, my, well, yeah. I, I need my, my, my 10 dirty dick sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go and get your dick sucked and you look at, oh, oh, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Then you're acting, ah. Uh, but it's just, <clears throat> yeah, that why I was like, you know, you can't open your life up that type of stuff to everybody and anybody and put everybody and anybody on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I got tears, man, because that's just a tragic situation, man. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I definitely have tears for, man. Richard Roundtree passed away this week. Who? And for those who don't know him, you know, in the 70s, when black people started really making movies. Oh, sure. And basically, he was the forefront of that with the black quotation films. He starred in three of the Shaft movies. Um, Shaft was an amazing character in the black community. And he even appeared in the later Shaft movie with Samuel Jackson. Right, right. He, he appeared in another movie that a lot of black people might know called Original Gangsters. Right, right, um, right. Yeah, man. I, I, I got tears for that, man, because that's an icon in the black community, man. As someone that has grew up watching the original Shaft movie and mm-hmm. some of those 70s, 80s movies that I saw mm-hmm. him, man, he was a strong black male role model character, and he was fighting injustice, but not just justice, he was fighting against white. So, hey, man, tears to Rich Roundtree, man. Hey, rest that's in cool. power, soldier. Mm-hmm. What was that? Yeah, I got tears. Um, anytime we lose a, a, a legend, an icon, you know what I'm saying, we go shed a tear, you know what I'm saying, not literally, but figuratively, but, man, shout out to him and his family, so, yeah, I got tears, tears or no tears, definitely, you know, so, another crazy situation that happened, so this woman went on vacation, I don't know where she went on vacation to, but she went on vacation, came home, and came home to just seeing her house demolished. So so it was a little bit so it's kind of so it was her house but she didn't live there, but it was her house she lived but she was on vacation but um she didn't live in the house it was just like um it was a vacant house but it was hers, so the neighbors called was like hey did you hire a demolished team to come, <laughs> but they figured out it was the they, they didn't demolish the wrong house. God damn. That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. So, so tears and no tears. So they demolished her house. It was her house but she didn't live there though. Was she a black one? What was she doing with her? I just want to was, say she wasn't living there. It was just so, an empty house. It was an empty house. It was a vacant house. It was, but it's hers. So she owned it? So she yeah. was trying to rent it out possibly? No. It was just vacant. Mm-hmm. She might have She might have been trying to remodel it or something, but it, but she didn't. Nobody lived there. Okay, cool. But, you know, I don't care if she lived there or not, bro. Mm-hmm. It was a house. But if you said she lived there, she went on vacation, she came back home, and her house was demolished. That's not what happened. Yeah, man. If I'm paying for it, I'm living still my home, man. They owe some money. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my guy tears, man. That's fucked up, bro. You can't demolish someone's property like that, man, without mm-hmm. their consent, man. So that's that's a crazy situation, man. Yeah, that's it was wild, like, but yeah, she gonna get paid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She gonna get paid. She can sue him. She gonna get paid what it was worth, and she gonna get probably paid triple or double because she can sue him. Like, hey, y'all, y'all trash. I mean, trespass on my property, y'all. Mm-hmm. All they, probably somebody probably go get charged, maybe. But they'll just pay the fee, probably so, or what, whatnot. But, but talking, juice man, you know what I'm saying? You the, you the, you the flipper, you know what I'm saying? I, I, how you feeling? Tears or no tears? She's gonna get paid. Yeah, 
Got a brand new house. They had to do nothing for it. Mm-hmm. Come insurance up. too. She, oh, she probably get insurance. So she probably get insurance money. She can sue them. All kind of stuff. Okay, what? Why not? That's a come up. Come up. Come up. Come demolish my house now. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna tell you what's getting demolished though, man. The idea of where you can take a woman on a date. So after the cheesecake factory incident. What happened women, with the Cheesecake Factory? I don't get what's going on. What, what happened with that? Basically, a woman just basically refused to go to Cheesecake Factory. She felt like she was too good for it. Too good? Too too so good for the Cheesecake? Women have came together and basically made a list of places you cannot take them, take them on dates. You should, From yeah. church to Starbucks for a coffee date to Waffle House to Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's. Um, it, it was a long gym, you can go to the gym, the bowling, movies, movies, to your house. <laughs> yeah, you can. No, they said no fast food chains, so you can't uh, take. It was just a long sporting event. Sporting event. There was a long list of. I seen. I seen the list. Did not take one. Like, it was like twenty eight places on this list. I see, I see. And on the flip side, men came out and made a list of women not to take on dates from strippers right. and to just. Etc. If you have a tattoo, you're not going on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Juice man, man. Any, any thoughts on this list? Tears, no tears. I don't know what they talking about. Cheesecake, shit. Like, I, then where was she supposed to go? I, that's why I don't get. It. It's like cheesecake is an upper echelon. It is a nice. Put it like this. Last time I was in cheesecake, I, I seen two famous actors in this motherfucker with their family. So, so who is this bitch? To say cheesecake ain't the shit. For real, I, I don't get it. That's why I don't get it. Like, cheesecake factory ain't the shit. We're teasing. What you got? You got tears or no tears on this? Yeah, man, I got tears, man, because this is just showing the destruction of the dating culture. Because like I said last week, the whole purpose of a date is for me to get to know you. And to be honest, some of these places that women have knocked off, going to, going to the gym together, that's a great workout. I mean, that's a great date. Going to um, church together, I mean, that lets you know, like, if you want to know someone's morals and their values, that's a great place. If you may not have that much time in your day, hey, and you're an early person, especially if you're a morning person, going to Waffle House or even a coffee date to Starbucks, like, hey, yeah, I got, that, ten, I got 10 minutes to spare. Yeah. I'm on your side of town. Let's go to Starbucks, grab right. coffee, Damn and right. talk real quick, and I got to go to work or whatever. That's right. So this just shows that, you know, a lot of these, you know, women, well, I can call them women, these hoes. Because cause women ain't make this list. Hoes made this list. This is a lot of these hoes got their priorities fucked up. Yeah, we're talking about hoes, not three or foes. Yeah, so what about you, Rose? Yeah, man. I I got tears that, that these hoes thought to put this dumb list together. Like, like y'all hoes are so dumb. Like, you want you don't want to go anywhere on the first date. Like, well... How about you just stay in your house and don't go anywhere? You know what I'm saying? Just stay, just, just disappear. Matter of fact, kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's how I feel about this list. And whoever had input on this list, whatever who had input on this, they didn't go kill themselves. That's how I feel about it. I got a question for both of y'all, man. After hearing this, what's wrong with these hoes? Like they need to kill themselves. So today we have three different situations, but they all talk about the same thing. There's one situation where a woman is describing on the podcast how she was receiving head and during the conclusion of that head, she pooped, it was a little pebble, and she smacked it across the room. <laughs> There's another situation where a woman is telling other women, y'all need to rub nut on y'all face, y'all ask me how I have a nice glow to my skin, it's because nut, y'all need to That's right. catching nut, That's right. nut is coming and y'all, and y'all worry about it's coming. That's right. And the last one and this is very popular. You're starting to see this a lot now, the last couple of years. A woman is talking about she was basically in the city of where the finals were last year and a play on the team. Jimmy Butler took her to the room and she ate and she ate their ass. He didn't want to fucking nothing. She just Jimmy ate his Butler. ass for hours. He let her stay in the hotel and then they won the championship the next day. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people in the comments saying it was Michael Porter Jr. Nah, it was Jimmy Butler. It could have been because she said they played won the championship. Oh, he won. Oh, he won the yeah, championship. Yeah, she said he won it. So oh. a lot of people went straight to the light skin nigga. It was like Michael Porter Jr. Oh no. Uh, but 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 check it though. And also, it's not that she, she said she had pink eye afterwards. And that's, yeah, that's a nasty nigga too. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it's not a nasty nigga. It's just that's what you I, get. That's what you get for, for just putting understand. your face in somebody's butt. Yeah. I, I'm gonna start off, man. It's crazy, man, because the last couple of years we've seen so many women just feel comfortable to just describe their sex lives and what the fuck they do and all this stuff online. And part of it is the reason why, like a lot, a lot of times, a lot of niggas don't want to fuck with some of these hoes, bro. Like, cause y'all kiss and tell too goddamn much. Mm-hmm. Like, first of all, we shouldn't even know there's somebody who played who's on who's on who's on the Denver Nuggets who last year got their ass in. We shouldn't even know that. And don't get it twisted. I think half of these are NBA game. But we should not know that one of them got their ass eaten right before an NBA game. And as far as like some of the other shit, like the women who just poop or whatever from here, like, I mean, it's a natural body function or whatever, but I don't want that visualization though. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't, don't want to hear some of this shit that these hoes be talking about. Mm-hmm. And then, my biggest thing about this is when women decide to talk about this shit online and describe their sex lives and the stuff that men ask for or don't ask for, and then some of these women who deal with celebrities, they be want to name drop and say this and that and try to create drama. They wonder why niggas come at them the way they do. Because Bitch, when I'm following you on Instagram, you always talking about how good of a dick sucker you are. Mm-hmm. You always talking about how you got that wet wet down there. Mm-hmm. So, of course, I'm not looking at you as to be my wife or girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I, I DM you, ho, because I'm trying to see, that, can you suck my dick like you suck that nigga that you, was on, that you posted about last week? I'm trying to see if you can make me nut in like five minutes like you made that nigga nut in five minutes. So, when we treat you like a hoe, a lot of this shit goes to what I've been saying on the podcast, Rosé. Y'all carry yourself like a hoe. Mm-hmm. And if you carry yourself like a hoe, I gotta treat you like a hoe. I would be doing a disservice if I didn't treat you the way you carried yourself. Yeah, but it's just when this this online stuff or how these women like discuss everything all for these likes and these views, man, that it, man, attention, man, that's a drug, man. It's a, it's, a, it's an incredible drug. They trying to they need it, man. They fainting. Like Jody said, I'm fainting. I need, I need, I need likes. I, I need views. I need somebody to tell me that I look beautiful. I need somebody to tell me that I'm a hoe because I like it. That I matter. Bitch, you don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But the but I'm gonna touch on the one with the the woman with she had to come in the um in the, in the in the thing. She needed what she should have did. Instead of coming back and doubling down on what she said, she start, she needed to start selling some of them bottles online. <laughs> I, I bet you them, they, they ain't going to say they ain't buying that, but I bet you they'll buy it. Man, hell yeah. That's what she needed to do. She needed to open up that, that, that come face business. You know what I'm saying? And come in the bottle. You know what I'm saying? And, it's, and then, if she if she, she like it on her face so much, she, she can use, she can, she can have fun and make money too. All in one swing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, Juice, man, any, any thoughts on this? Okay. Um, <clears throat> thoughts on it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, come on the face doesn't make you look younger. That, that That's that's cool. Like, it, it, it semen does miracles with, with the skin. So, boom. We, know, we all know about this. So, you know, it is what it is. That's why you see a lot of, um, what is it? Porn stars to get the baby face. Because they, they can come on this money shop, boom, boom, boom. So then, boom. They look, they, they looking ten years younger. Cause yeah, you know what I'm saying. Come on the face. But um, what's the other one we got? The other one is the uh. It's just um women talking about their sex lives online. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, women talk. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna run their mouth. It is what it is. Like, hey. So speaking of people talking, man, for those who watch the. Um, Gilbert's Arena podcast. Kaya Martin and Brandon Jennings was having this. Before I get started, I'll I, I, I like to nominate Gilbert Arena as, as for the whole of the week. Cause I seen him on his podcast and wearing his own jersey. <laughs> Damn. So Kaya Martin and Brandon Jennings was um, talking on the podcast. And they was talking about how when they all got their first big paychecks, their first expense was for their mom or their grandparents or their father. 
And Brandon Jennings said it was such a culture shock for him because, you know, he would t- talk to his white teammates and ask them, you know, what they was doing for their family and their first expenses. And Nothing. They later, it was like, no, nah, I bought myself a car. Yeah. I did this, I did that. Yeah, folks are, yeah, and the discussion kind of trickled down to black people are taught to push their money backwards, whereas white people push their money forward. And it led to a discussion with me and C's, you know, privately about how we have some some situations of black family who is paying all their bills just fine, but in the minute they have a child that turns 18 and starts working, requiring them to chip, chip in around the household, mm. even though they're doing just fine in the household and they're not struggling. Mm. And it just led to this, why do we as, as black people feel like we need to push the money back instead of pushing it forward like other communities do? Because be, because we didn't have four hundred years of free labor, <laughs> and and so so that's why. So when when it's, when when one comes up, we all come up most most of the time. I don't get that because because I don't, I don't get that because most of the time I don't get that level. Okay, if I was Asian, my kids are working for me for free, so the money they making goes to the house automatically. If I was white. The money they making goes to my bank account for free, automatically. So I don't give a fuck what they making because I automatically get the money. Nigga, do this shit. You get paid, but you don't get the money. You just live and you drive what you drive. Indians do it. Black folks, we don't have what we do. Some do. But we don't do that. We don't come together as a whole in a group. Bring the money power together. Keep the money in the cycle and then spend with other black folks. We don't do what we're supposed to do. If we did what we're supposed to do, we wouldn't be so. It's okay, for instance. Uh, I can I can probably Google it right quick, but it's called the money cycle, basically. It's the money cycle. Like, like, all right. I'm Asian, I start a restaurant. Guess who's working in the restaurant for free? All my kids. Yeah, all family. my wife, yeah. everybody, my brother, everybody's working in this restaurant together. We all live in one house and we stack it. So that mm-hmm. means what? All this money, you got a brand new car. You got a brand new car. I got a brand new car. Everybody got a brand new car. And then when the money gets to enough that, okay, now we can afford another house, pay for that bitch in cash, keep the money in the cycle where it's just us, we're going to pay some Asian contractors to come and do the work. We're not playing black, white, we're lucky. We just keep the money in the, you know what I'm saying? People don't do that. We, we as a black folks, don't do that. We crabs in a barrel, especially here in the city we stay in. So it's kind of fucked up. But, yeah. what what's, what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, man, me and C's. I, I'll jump on me that. Me and C's had a long conversation about it. Me and J even talked about it. Um, so as far as just the professional part, like the athlete part or the celebrity part, you all right. We, we didn't get a 400-year head start. But that should be even more of a reason for us to push the money forward. So, like, let's say, for example, you middle class. And you got a decent job. You're making 45, 50, 60 a year. And your wife making 45, 50, 60 a year. Y'all making 100 to 150 a year in the household. And you're blessed enough to have a son or a daughter become a professional athlete or a rapper or an entertainer or a singer. And they're making millions. That to me should be your reward. Your reward is the fact that look at what I raised and look what I created. Like them buying you a house when you already bought a house and you're paying the mortgage on. Them buying you a car when you already got cars in your back you know in your backyard. Know. But lots of times it's, it's not it's not not it's not the fact that they they're asking for it. Just that just what people do. I, I don't care if you I don't like as, uh, to me. You would be responsible enough as a good parent to be like, I remember times where even when I was making like good money, if I tried to do certain things for my grandma, she'd be like, no, I don't want you to spend your money on it. Yeah, but, but, that, that, but that still doesn't stop you from doing it. If she does, she's not going to accept my gift, it, it stops me from having it. It stops me That's from you, but, but, last, but last time when you have, so, have millions of dollars, you if you want it, if you want to do something nice, that's just buying a gift. Yeah, you, but you, I'm you're saying, do a lot of times like these people feel like they, they have to do it, whereas they, we don't see that in other communities, and that's part of the issue is 
man, we need to be pushing the 24. Like, instead of you buying me a house, like, why not me say, well, son, yes, this 250000 home would be nice. Why don't you start a trust fund with that money for your son that, you, that you're going to have in the future or your daughter going to have in the future? Like, there's different ways for us to think about money. Mm -hmm. Like, even the simple fact, me and MJ was talking, and he brought up something. Instead of making your child pay rent when they become of age, why don't you say, hey, you're going to give me $200 a month. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And then when they turn 25 or 27, I save this money for eight, nine years. People do years. that. People do that all the time. I'm going to give it back to you because it's going to be a down deposit on a home. Yeah. Instead of me just instead of me just taking the two hundred dollars a month. And people do that, but 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 thing what, what but, you but should do. We don't do. talk about that. The whole purpose is we don't talk about that in our community. That's what I do. Not money That's what I do. Black folks no, no money we don't. Either. A lot of a lot of times in our community, we're you, not, you see situations either. where kids become of age. Like this is. Facts. This is the reason why a lot of us live on Section 8 housing. A lot of us basically are struggling to pay shitty apartments. Is a lot of times when we become 18 or 19, what happens is the your parents feel like, okay, it's time for you to help out. But it's not about some people do that. Yeah, some people do that. A lot of people do that. But but also a lot of times you have to have some responsibility because nowadays there's this ways is, to get responsibility about you. What about you making your child give you money? Like, like I said, it's, it's, it's about showing responsibilities. So so nowadays, so some people might some people might not use that money in the right ways. Yes, that happens. That happens all the time. And it, it doesn't just happen in the black community. It happens in the white community because all white people and all Asian people and all Mexican people, they're not rich. We, but we, we talking about the majority. Like but we're, we're talking not, about we talking about the norm. We talking about what's common. We're talking about the fact that... And, and lots of times, especially with black people, it's, it goes back to having wills, life insurance, and all that kind of stuff. Because the reason why lots of the, the white people don't have to do that because they got left money behind from okay. from their from, from life and insurance understood. and things like that's that. Understood. I so understand we, so, that. So we have to, get, we have to focus on stuff like that. You basically saying because we did not have... I'm going to take from my seat. No, that's not what I said. That's like, not what that, I said. That doesn't okay. make the situation okay. no better. From now my experiences, that. all the pro NFL and basketball players I know, their parents still stay in the same damn house. Their son got, what, 20 mil doing their thing. We not just, I'm not just talking about professional athletes right now. Okay, but I, I'm like, talking about I'm talking about just regular Joes like us too. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you got a daughter, she turns right. twenty, she starts working at the mall. That's a daughter. See, that's different. That's different. Then it's, then it's boy okay, and girl. She, okay, son. So, okay, so you, you got to say something. Come my daughter. Son. You got a son. It's you got a son. He's twenty two. He's working and he's making maybe five hundred a check. And you decide, hey, I need you to give me two hundred a month since you're staying here. Okay, what was he doing with the check? How long did it go? Like, it's, it's all about responsibilities, learning responsibilities. But my whole thing is, why do I, why do your son got to give you $200 a month to show responsibility? Because there's many ways to teach someone responsibility that's more than financial. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Money. Like, I want to have to do that if, like you say, he's already 20 and he, he bought his own car. He's 23. He's 23? Yeah, 23. You can, say, you can say 23 if you want. Okay, my son's 23 and he's not staying with me. No, he's staying with you. He's paying fucking bills. Why? Why? Because at 18, you move the fuck out. Because you're also dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a backwards me. That's a backwards no, mindset. No, because no, Because why are you trying he to... He has push? to help the house. He has to help the... You got to do something. That's how Eric... That's how Eric... has to help the house. He has to help the house. He, he has to help the house. He, what is because he doing to help the house? At 23, he's probably not making a job where he can move out. So all you're really doing is you're abiding and aiding the system. Let me say what I'm about to say. You're abiding and aiding the system because when it happens... You got statistics of a lot of young adults leaving the house because, hey, I got to pay rent, but I don't have an equal say in the house because you're never going to give your son an equal say just because he's giving two hundred dollars a month because that is if he pays the whole rent, it's different. That's my whole point. <laughs> That's my whole point. Him paying the percent. So now what he's going to do? What's he, equal say? Bro, you know what the fuck I mean. No, what's equal say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's the same way your say? wife will have an equal say. The same way. Mm. The same way. What's like, equal say? Equal say is like basically this y'all shit together. It is our it is ours. Yeah, no, if I die, it goes to him. Equal say is like he got it on 80 degrees during the winter time. Like equal say is he could do what the fuck you want to do in the house. He can't. That's it's my whole thing. No, nobody it's can. Hard. It's hard. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah. 
It's hard. Yes. Do you, do you want to talk about the semantics, bro? Do you want to have a real conversation? No, we're, we're having, having a real conversation. conversation. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? I got someone saying. I'm older. Say. I'm yeah. the boss. Like, you don't know what equal say means, but you know what equal say is. Oh, okay. Well, the way you said it, you going to have equal say because you're paying too high. Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. That's my point. What, what's what's the point? point? What's the point you're trying you to make? Said, if you're trying to listen. Yeah, he's yeah. not trying to listen. I, 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 he's listening I, 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 to the bank. You ain't listening. So yeah, I'm just going to grab my conversation with you. Okay. Because he just wanted the bank. Well, we got new. Right. We got we got, we got nah, somebody nah. new in here. We got somebody new. Oh, yeah. MG's just walked in. Okay. So so let, let's see what he has. his opinion about the situation. You know, right now, man, I'm thinking, man, you know, it's all on, get, get on what your, jo- what, what your child is doing. Because, you know, some kids get out of high school, they go straight to making money. They go to the army or something like that. And they be out on their own, but some people, you know, they don't have the means to go out and do things like that. And then you force them out the house at eighteen. Well, what what are they doing? Schools ain't teaching them about money money literacy. You know, they don't know how how to maintain a check checking account stuff like that. You know, they don't. If they don't, put, that's your fault. They don't know how to put aside you know this money for rent. You know, they they struggling. But but historically, a lot of black people ain't teaching their kids that, though, Rosé. That's 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 what I'm saying. I can only I'm speak for saying, myself. I'm saying, I'm saying, I say that all the time. I'm, I'm talking for the norm, though. I'm not talking for the outline. You are outline, so you can talk for the outline. I'm talking for the people who listening right now, who used to the norm, and the norm is a lot of black parents don't teach their kids finances. That's that's and that's, and that's, and that's why I'm trying when we talk to these when we talking to the audience, we're trying to teach them. No, we're trying to teach but them. To teach them, you got to be real with them. When you just tell them about your experience, they listening like, oh. So I guess everybody do that. My parents was just shitty. No, you need to tell them. Yes, this is the norm. The norm is lots, a lot of, of parents. They parents were shitty. No, a lot of these black parents language. don't teach them this. But I teach my kids this. They need to know that. Yes, that's not the norm. Like the norm is, we need to change this into the norm. But that's but that's that's the thing about it. That's why you need to. That's why you need to teach them. Like if you if you didn't do your job as a parent, that's on you. But when you talking as if. That's not the norm. People will listen and be like, "Well, there's no need for us to change." Because, because when I say it's not the norm, because the people that the people that I'm in, in a circle, because I'm not going to talk about stuff that I, I'm going to talk about stuff that I know, and I'm going to speak for the stuff that I know, and I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not going to speak for nobody else. That's what, that's that's all I'm saying. I'm just going to speak from statistics and from what I see in the community. So when I'm telling you what MGZ was saying. What I was saying before, when you start making your son pay this two hundred dollars a month, he doesn't have an equal say in the household, so he starts feeling like, you know what, man, why the fuck am I gonna be here? I might as well have my own shit. I might as well pay six, seven hundred dollars a month for my own shit. That's your then, problem too. Then he decides to pay for his own shit, and now he's struggling hand to mouth to to live. That's your okay. Problem. Okay, here's the thing though. So it's the parents, but the son or the daughter doesn't understand that the parent is struggling. If you listen to what I said when I first started this, uh-huh. parents that are struggling, we're not even talking about that. Okay, we're not talking if about that. Okay. I'm talking about parents that are easily paying okay. their mortgage, their okay. rent, or whatever. Okay. But most, of, but most, but most okay. of those people don't put kids out the house and, and don't do that. It's, yeah. it's, the, it's the people that are struggling that do that. Yeah. No, you, what, what, do you, what do you take when I say easily? Because what I, what I mean by easily is, no, you may not be taking, two, because of what you you said. May not be taking two, three trips to Jamaica. But what I mean is, there's not a single month where it's like you stressing about how you gonna pay your bills. Well, wait, well, well, what you said earlier, well, well, what I'm saying is like this. Okay? That's what I mean by if easy. the parents ain't struggling and they taking the two hundred dollars from the from the kid, believe it or not, they're actually putting it in the account for the kid. Talking about if you're doing it, that's cool. But what I'm saying is our community, there's not many stories like that. And that's what I'm saying is like, why are you taking two hundred dollars? Now, if you want to tell me because he needs some responsibility, he needs help with the household, that's what I call bullshit. But if you want but to tell not- me. If you want to tell me, you no, know, I'm taking the $200 to my son because he's not mature enough to understand that I'm going to set this aside for him so that when he turns 25, that he can have this money for something bigger down the road. If, if a child is staying in your home and they're 18 and 19 and they're, and they're not going to school, they don't, they don't have any plans and they're just working just to work, then they need to have some kind of responsibilities around the house. Okay, cool, but that doesn't have to be financial. Like you keep saying responsibility, like it has to be financial. If you're working, yes. Like, like, like that's, that's, like, that's, that's like a woman yes. saying you need to provide for me and protect me. That's more than just financial. There's many ways yes, to provide. But if, if, if you so are working, you can, you can teach your children. If you are working, if you are working, if you are working, and you and you don't have any plans, and you just plan on just working, 
and you plan on staying in the home. This, 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 this is this is our home. Then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to contribute to the household. No, no, then no, then you as a parent need to help them formulate a plan so that when they turn right. twenty five or thirty, they can already right. have something in place. But the kids don't listen. Like I said, if if you if you're just gonna if the, the kids, kids go because 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 if your kid if people don't want to leave, they want their family together. If you can have your kids everybody all together. That's what parents will want. That they they wouldn't they want to mind. But if that's the case, if we're all staying in the home, then we're going to have to all contribute. But then he said, between those two, the if, same if, say if, so. If, if, if you want, you can so, have. If you want your so kids to live with so. you, then cool. Have, tell them, hey man, I want you to live here. I would want, as long as you want, I just need to contribute. Right. And then now that you're an adult, we're going to be we're on equal ground. Well, I see that's what you're saying with the equal ground. Basically, but 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 you, but you got to realize the woman doesn't even have equal ground with the with with the man. So how the kid gonna have equal ground with the man? Yeah, the kid doesn't have equal ground. It's hierarchy. It's, it's a chain of command. No matter whether you go in the country, it's the, in the president, world. the vice president. Yeah, it, it's a hierarchy. So I, so I got a question. So you you're telling me you would want you want this person to pay two hundred four hundred dollars a month, and then still basically treat them like a kid. I didn't say he was gonna get treated like a kid, yeah, but it's it's hierarchy. It's like this this. If you coming in at one o'clock in the morning, call. Let me know to unlock the door. It's fine. Like, you'll you'll have you, you can have a kid. So, you can so, do so, what you want to so, do. So, so, but I'm you're not paying you two hundred four hundred dollars a month, and because I come one in the morning, I got to call you. Yes. Come I ain't gonna say. That. I ain't gonna come say on, all man. that. Come, but, 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 you, but you see the conversation we having, right? But yeah. no, I'm not saying all that. But yeah. I'm just saying you're, it's going. It's going to have to be a higher said, though. Yes, it's going to have to. But that that that's his home. Those are his rules. And, and, but I'm saying, and, and, and because I'm of that, saying, that, I'm, I'm saying you expect, I'm making, you expect that, 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 that's because to be, old, okay. to be okay with paying basically rent to their parent and still being treated like a child. Because that's being treated like a child. That's not being okay, treated you like got a child. You being treated like a child because you're not the boss. You don't own the business. Because if I got to still answer to you. I'm being treated like You're going to have to answer no, to your parent no, your whole you life. you got to answer to your job. No, no, you don't. You ain't got to answer your parent your whole life. What's the, the last thing y'all called y'all, y'all parents and said, hey, I just got home to my house at 2 in the morning? I do that sometimes. Because the other no, day. What's the last thing you had to do it? I didn't say he, he didn't say he had to do it, but, but yeah, that's out of respect. He said he had to do it. Out of respect. Out of respect. No, he said he had to do it. Yeah. Out of respect. Out of respect, you had to do it. No, bro, it's out of respect and doing something because you have to is two different things. No, now, it's the same thing. No, it's not because if you would have said, my son does that because he respects me. That's one thing. It's another thing when someone does it because they have to. That's like if I put a gun in your head and say, hey, do this. Nigga, I'm making you do it. I don't care. I, like, what you are you talking about? It's either you do it on your own free will or you have to get done. And like, you see like, what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, 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 out of respect, you have okay, a choice. Like, like, okay, like, for instance, I might ask a question. It's a rhetorical question. I already know the answer. But if you say no to the question that's supposed to be a yes, it's like, nigga, what the fuck is you thinking? And, and that means I really did not have a choice in the question. I mean, I really it was just rhetorical. Way. It was like, hey, I'm trying to be nice. Exactly. Hey, this is what it is. So I did not have no free will in this situation. Yeah. I had to do this and oblige this. Otherwise, it was going to be a problem. Because it's hard. So man. just because it's I say yes. It's like, okay, okay, you go to your job. Really okay, do. you go to your job. And it was like, hey, we need you to, to move. To move the move, the uh, the we need you to move something. I'm doing that because I have to, bro. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. It's a job. You're not a slave. You don't have to do it. I'm doing that. No, I you don't have to do it. No, you don't have to do it. Yes, no, 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 no. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You have a choice in everything you do in this world. But that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if my choice is not to do this. No, you can be like, man, fuck you, boss. And, and that's what I'm saying. Fuck what you talking saying. about. My choice is to not do this, get fired, and not and not be able to pay my bills. That's not a logical choice. So what I'm saying is, if your son has to call so, you, so when you're so exactly when your friend and, like, and his options is get kicked out the house. That's not a logical option for him. And and that's all I'm saying is, if you want to make your kids pay bills or whatever because they still living with you because you feel like they're adult or whatever. Because you feel like they need to keep you some money. All I'm saying is, in our community, me and MJ talked about this. We met many people that don't look like us who basically had kids that was 27, 20 years old, living rent free, being able to go to school, not have to worry about all this other stuff. Whereas in our communities, whereas our communities, it's a reason why black men don't get to stay in college as long as white men do. Because if I'm at home, and I'm living with my parents and I'm going to school, at some point in time, I know there's a clock up, I gotta start contributing, or it's gonna become a problem. 
Whereas white people would be like, man, I'm in, man, I'm in college for the third time. I'm 27, 20 years old. I still don't know what I want to do, man. And then finally at 29, get a degree, go to whatever excessive school they go to, and then by the time they're 35, start making 150 a year. It happens, bro. We had we had we we had we had a friend on the podcast. I ain't gonna say his name. We had a friend on the podcast. Went to school. School wasn't for him. Later on in his life, because he was still with his people, boom, ended up getting a good job that was paying well. All I'm saying is in the black community, we don't give our kids these opportunities to grow. We 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 parents parents give their kids now whole parents. Now them hoes and, and, and people that live on Session 8, no, they don't give them no. But 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 as far as as American families, they do. I feel like they do. If you're making your kid pay rent as soon as they turn 18 and get a job. But after you after you turn 18 and get a you, you just have you we have you if that's if that's the plan that y'all came up with, that's the plan that y'all came up with. That's them. Some parents, you, some kids go to school. Some people go to the military. Now, if you're staying at home and you want to, you're going to have to contribute to the home. You see what I'm saying? Like, why do I have to contribute to the just home? Because, because just they, like they, when you're going to school, they, 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 my name is when you're going to school, you're contributing to the home. You're doing something personable. Personable. But but so me in the workforce building work skills because a lot of times you, a lot of times it's not what you, it's not what you know. Like you can have these degrees. You gotta have the experience. Me and MJ show about You go, you go so to the military, you, you're, so, you're, so, you're learning something. You, you're doing so something. I, I can't learn anything in the department store? You're doing something. You're learning. I can't, I can't but learn when you contribute to the home, you contribute I, to the home. If you're at home and you're not going to school, you're not but, in the military, well, you're I'm just saying, working. If I'm working but if you're I'm, gonna contribute but, to the but, home. But, but if I'm working, if I'm working, that's me contributing because I'm learning skills while I'm working. Why do, yes. I, have to give, why do I have to give a check? That's, okay, that's right. good to contribute to yourself, but you're not contributing. That's not contributing okay, to the whole. Talking, talking, talking. See, now you come to yourself because you just said. Okay. Y'all heard him. No, if I you go to school, can I, can no, I finish? No, that's not if, what I said. If you go to school, you contribute. You're if, contributing. If you're in the military, you're contributing. But yes. if I'm working. Because you're not there. If I'm working in a normal okay. household. If you, if, if, if <laughs> you go to school, <laughs> what, what kind of system you're making? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, statistically. Because I'm just going to ask this real talk. Statistically, how many kids go to school in their local areas and still stay home. Let's not make it seem like every kid you're goes going to school. You're going to school. You're that, contributing. How is you? So if you're going to against the state, how is you? How you're is still, you're still, still contributing. Okay, if you're going to school, you're not considered an adult. That's a smart answer. I like that. Yeah. That's you're not cool. independent. The bullshit you were saying. No, you're contributing. Explain because, me how you're contributing. Because that's you your say. job. Go I, to school. So my job at McDonald's is to flip burgers. What's the difference? You no, 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 no. Explain. No, no. But make his shit make sense to me. Okay, okay. How does that if not make sense? School, it don't, because you just said that. They're contributing if you're going to school. I, I'm contributing by going to school. Now, do something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something like that. You're still a child. I respect that. Yeah, yeah, you're still a child, but you contribute. But you're contributing. But, but how do you contribute? So, how is you going to school contribute to the household? How okay. is what I'm learning in, in school contributing to you? How, how does that not make sense? I'm okay. asking, how is what I'm learning in school contributing to you? Did, did it's not, that. It's contributing yeah. to the household. How is it contributing to the household? Make it's it make contributing sense. because you want to be. No, just make, make, make because, you're make, because you're making yourself better. You're making the family well, better. My question is if I'm working a nine to five job as a welder, and you're I'm staying making at home. myself better. Yes. I'm learning skills. I'm not at. And you're staying so at how home. Why is that not contributing? You. Okay. And you're staying at home? And, and, and this is what you go to school and stay at home. I just said that. Yes. Saying. Okay, this is what I so said. All the time. So, 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 but you're not making money if you're this going to school. My child, I'm paying be, for the school. Okay. The parents are paying so, for the school. We got people who go to school and work every day. Yes, but the parents also pay and for the school. And you want to pay school. Student loans pay for school sometimes. And that's still you paying for it. That's not you paying for it. That's the kids paying for it. If you work it. Who's going to pay that loan back? you going to pay that loan back? They're called parent loans. Okay, this is what I'm saying. They call parent loans. Yes. Okay. Let's, Everyone let's, take take it, out let's, let's, let's take it back to when I was let, 15. Let, let's talk the norm now. Yes. Let's, let's talk the norm now. Let's talk the norm. Now. We're talking okay. the norm. Okay. Okay. That's not the norm. Okay. Yes, that's it is. Man. When I was 15, yes, I didn't have no parent loan. That's that's you. That's, that's you. No, because okay. that's the norm. This that's not the norm. Opinion. What's the norm? It's the norm. It's the norm. Two parent household or single parent household. That's the norm. Y'all group. Y'all group in the two parent household, right? That's not the norm. That is not the norm. Everybody, let's talk about the norm now. Okay. Okay. And not the exceptions. Man, come okay, on, norm, man. Like, like, I'm just saying the norm is the norm. They take two people. The norm is to have two parents in the house. No, 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 no. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay, but that's the norm not ain't always the norm. It's the same. The norm is not you, always you, the same. You complained it. No, that's not. what it should the norm, be. The norm, the norm is, is what normally happens. That's not. And most people are raised in a single parent household. 
That's statistically the norm. If people raise a single parent household, their norm is not the same as a two parent norm. Okay, what cool. I, what I'm saying you can say what's my norm and what your norm is. I'm saying I'm speaking on the norm in the country. Okay. All right. The norm in the country. All right. Yes, because not most people are in a position where their parents are taking out parent loans and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like most people are taking out student loans themselves. And last yeah, time, they it, back themselves. Yes, yeah, that happens. So, 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 like, so you no, don't say that happens. That happens. That's the norm. That happens. No, no, no. When you say that happens, you insinuate it like, ah, it happens. You it happens one out of four. Norm. You can't one say the four. norm. One out That's not the norm. It's more. It's more. That is the majority. norm. It's the majority. You, it you happens. Say the majority. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the, the norm. majority. The majority is not the norm. Majority is the norm. What are you? Not the me. Majority. Not me. No. Not me. Not me. Define majority. Uh, okay. I can Google. I majority is something that happens more often than not. It's yeah, norm. Something that happens more often than not. Like yeah. two of us have college degrees. I and, can, and, I, can and, I can see what you're saying, but but for you to but for you to say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm talking for everybody. I didn't need you to talk for yourself. I'm talking about the norm. I'm I need talking you to about talk norm. for yourself. I'm talking about statistics and the norm. That's what I'm talking about. And you're talking about people that you know. Yeah, that happens. But because. I'm, but, not gonna get no. up, I'm not going to get up here and talk. I'm not going to be like these people who got all this money and I'm living good and I'm and I'm going to talk down basically to these people who basically are not in this situation. Okay, you know, I'm, when I know that's not the norm for them. So what's I'm not going to talk like this is not the norm because this is not the norm for a lot of these people. So these people listening to the shit you're saying is listening and like, bro, I don't know what he's talking about. Like, I had this conversation with MJ's before. I have a friend group. Mm-hmm. Only one of us grew up in a single parent household. Mm-hmm. That is not the norm. Only one of us is obese. That is not the norm. So just because that just because my friend group is like that, I'm supposed to then say, well, in America, and I'm talking to people where nah, bro, most people don't grow up in a single parent household. Most people is, is, is not obese. Nah, bro, I understand that my friend group is an exception to the rule. And I'm cool with that. And I'm happy for my friends. Mm-hmm. I'm happy my friends don't have them problems. I'm happy my friends grew up in two parent households, but I understand we are the exception to the rule. Kevin Sims used to tell women this all the time. Stop trying to look for the exceptions to the rule and yeah. understand what the I, rule I, is. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what and you're saying. And all I'm saying is everything I'm discussing at the table, yes, you talk, you, you talk about your personal experience, but just make sure you're making it clear this is my personal experience. Because everything I, I'm saying is I said the that. I said I can only I say, I say this. I say every time I talk to anyone, I say I can only speak for myself. I can only speak for myself. You argue what I'm saying. I'm and saying. I need you. And I said I'm I need you to speak for norm. yourself. And I said, and that's all I said. I need you to speak for yourself. I said I'm gonna speak for myself. You speak. I can speak. For, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm also gonna speak for people who's not at the table, which is the norm to people. Okay. Well, like I'm gonna be the voice to those people. The norm is. They saying the norm is really considered. So the norm is, is, is not the majority. It's, it's, it's majority. What definition are you looking at, man? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at right now. The difference between the uh, I'm looking at. I don't know. You, you might look at it. We need, we need to yeah. wrap it up, Phyllis. Hey, this, this is a great conversation, man. You can go back and forth every day, man. Like At the end of the day, we do as a community got to figure out Things that the Jewish community is doing, things the white community is doing, the Hispanic community. You brought up earlier about us living in the household together. Asians would do that. And so will um, Latino. Latinos would do that. White. You know, so we do gotta we do gotta find out ways to have success. Cause what we're doing as black people right now, regardless of whether you like it or not, what we're doing as as a majority is not working if you look at the numbers. We gotta we gotta come up with a better plan so that the kids have a future, and those kids can basically carry on. Because at the end of the day, this is how I personally feel. I would love to be happy, but it's more important that my kids have happiness and success, and if that requires me to make sacrifices, that's in the Bible. then that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And we as black people, we need to try to figure out ways of doing that because we're behind all these other people already. Anybody else got any final thoughts? You, know, you just gotta look at every situation as individual situation, man. Because you know, you know, people who grow up with single parent households that's making more money than parents with two people making money, man. So you know, every everything is different for everybody, man. Yeah, and you know, you just gotta, you know, understand that you can't just push a kid out there to the world that he's not prepared for, you know. And 
you know, if he contributing, you know, financially, you know, you got to set a plan for him because, you know, you've been holding it down before he turned 18. So there's no reason that you can't do that when he gets 18. Don't, you know, expect him to go just hand over the money as soon as you get a job or you got to pay me now. You know, it shouldn't work like that in a household, man, you know. You're going to school, you're working, either either or, you're, you're contributing, you know, because you're doing something to better yourself and put yourself in a position to become independent and step out there on your own. And, you know, every parent is going to set different guidelines on when they want their children to leave the home. You know, some want them 18, some want them when they graduate college. You know, some people open their own homes to their kids, well, you know, so, you know, every every situation is different and you have to stand with, you know, parents that's going to push their kids to be independent and, you know, work hard for themselves and not just be mooching off of them. You know, so that's where I'm at. Yeah, so, so but you, got, you got some last thoughts, Jay? Yeah, well, I wasn't able to say it. I, I say it all the time and this is the way the world works. The more money you make, the more money you pay. <laughs> that simple. And it wasn't Airbnb I killed peace, y'all. Yeah, I ain't getting my final thoughts. But yeah, because we kind of got off track because it was both it's supposed to be mostly like talking about moving moving backwards and forth. So we got it got it off track, but but I think it was we we touched bases on a little bit of everything, but but go go you go ahead and close it out, Vertizi. Was it Airbnb I killed peace? And I'm back quiet. Oh, <laughs>